Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued decree by law 29 of the year 2020 amending some provisions of decree by law 4 of the year 2001 on prohibiting and combating money laundering and terrorism financing. His Majesty the King also issued decree by law 30 of the year 2020 adding a new clause 5 to paragraph C of article 8 of decree by law 78 of the year 2006 regarding insurance against unemployment. His Majesty also issued decree by law 32 of the year 2020 regarding registration, safety and control rules for small vessels. His Majesty issued decree by law 31 of the year 2020 amending some provisions of law 3 of the year 2005 regarding higher education. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, during which His Majesty expressed his sincere condolences to His Highness and to the family of Al Sabah on the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty recalled the role of the late Emir, affirming that Kuwait, the Gulf, and the Arab and Islamic nations have lost a a prominent leader who had dedicated his life to serving his country, the Arab and Islamic nations and humanity. He added that the late Amir was appreciated by the leaders and people of the world and that he was a model of wisdom and dedication, stating that his efforts and achievements will remain a model of dedication and generosity. His Majesty then congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nawaf on his accession to the throne, wishing him success in continuing the march of development and prosperity of Kuwait and its people. His Majesty affirmed uh, the support of the Kingdom to the brotherly state of Kuwait in these circumstances. He highlighted that the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait are strong based on a long history of brotherhood, shared goals and destiny. He expressed his aspirations to further bolster and bro the brotherly bilateral relations and His Majesty wished Kuwait and his people for their progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf. The Emir of Kuwait expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments which reflect the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries. He wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in Kuwait to extend his condolences to His Highness, the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, following the demise of His Highness, the late Emir, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. During his visit, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, extended the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Highness, the Emir of Kuwait. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, also extended his condolences to the Kuwaiti royal family, noting that his thoughts and prayers are with them at this difficult time. He wished Kuwait and his people a further development and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness noted the late Emir's pivotal role in serving his country, as well as his vast contributions to further strengthening and supporting GCC cooperation, and recalled his continuous support for Arab and Islamic causes. His Royal Highness further noted the late Emir his noble humanitarian endeavors across a wide range of causes. For his part, His Highness the Emir expressed appreciation for the condolences offered by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his accompanying delegation extended his best wishes to His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa highlighted the importance of committing for Bahrain and following health and social distancing guidelines and protective measures for an additional two weeks until the 14th of October in order to combat the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19 and ensure that the kingdom's community is safeguarded. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the continued support provided by the kingdom's citizens and residents to Team Bahrain's national efforts to mitigate the impact of COVID-19. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the community's response to the Kingdom's public awareness campaign to combat the coronavirus, adding that every individual has an equal and important role in following and supporting mitigation efforts to ensure the Kingdom's safety remains a priority. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored the Kingdom's absolute commitment to continue to strengthen COVID-19 response efforts, prioritizing the health and safety of citizens and residents. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by praising the efforts of the Kingdom's first responders and their support network for their pivotal role and commitment to combating COVID-19. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received you as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Arabian Gulf Affairs, Timothy Lenderking. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the strong relations between the two countries in all fields, wishing to continue cooperation in various regional and international issues and strengthen the strategic allegiance between Bahrain and the U.S. The U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary praised the bilateral relations, expressing his readiness to enhance cooperation and coordination and noting the Kingdom's role in achieving security and peace in the world. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, expressed his sorrow over the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. He praised the many virtues of the late Emir, from whom His Highness Sheikh Mohammed said has learned much. He added that the world has lost a wise humanitarian and patriotic leader. He said that this is a loss for Kuwait as well as the GCC countries, the Arab and Muslim worlds, and the world at large. Thanks to the late Emir's history of successful conflict resolutions to safeguard security and stability across the world. He added that the contributions of the late Emir will not be forgotten. Condoled with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah and the Kuwaiti people and prayed to God to rest the soul of His Highness Sheikh Sabah in eternal peace. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met at the Ministry's General Court with the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Arabian Peninsula Affairs at the United States Department of State. Timothy Lender King. President were Under Secretary of International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Charge de Affairs at the U.S. Embassy to Bahrain, Margaret Nardi. During the meeting, Dr. Al Zayani welcomed Lender King and uh, stressed the depth of the existing historical relations between Bahrain and the United States. He reviewed uh, the uh, friendship and strategic partnership between the two countries and means of developing them to reach a border level or broader levels in a manner that promotes a uh, common interests expressing pleasure with the U.S. effort to maintain security and stability in the region. For his part, uh, Lender King praised the Bahrain-U.S. friendship relations and took pride in the development and growth of the bilateral relations at all levels, appreciating Bahrain's continuous efforts to enhance security and stability in the region and wishing it further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and the National Economy, uh, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a virtual meeting on providing opportunities in the Arab world, which was shared by the head of the G20, Saudi Arabia, along with the International Monetary Fund, as invited by the Saudi Finance Minister Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Jadhan. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa affirmed the importance of intensifying international efforts to meeting the challenges of the pandemic in order to stabilize the world economy and providing development for 
Federal. He said that Bahrain prioritized the health and safety of citizens and residents as it handled the pandemic and balanced the needs of public health and those of the national economy. He added that the government is taking precautionary measures, which include a physical stimulus that amounts to over $11 billion to provide liquidity and support various economic sectors. It also paid the wages of Bahraini workers in the private sector in full during the first three months and 50 percent in the following period, which has contributed to supporting the private sector and economic growth. He affirmed that uh, the kingdom uh, was keen on ensuring the sustainability of its national economy by providing a solid infrastructure for information and communication technology and harnessing modern technologies and various financial services in the economic affairs sector to continue achieving economic growth. He noted that the coronavirus has vastly affected the global economy, which called for immediate response to all plans and initiatives aimed at achieving financial sustainability and limiting the global economic challenges. Chances of economic growth of the Arab economy were discussed during the session, as well as means of increasing financial flexibility to achieve a full recovery of the global economic system. A number of finance ministers, Arab bank CEOs and directors of regional and international monetary institutions, in addition to specialists in the field of economy, all participated in the meeting. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Mohamed Ahmedan, made a statement on the International Day for Older Persons, in which he said that the opportunity exists for the Bahraini model to be presented to the region and to the world in the fields of development, healthcare, justice, and rehabilitation, which guarantee a dignified life for senior citizens. The minister said that these services are safeguarded by the Constitution, along with the progress that Bahrain is experiencing in the field of legislation as part of His Majesty King Hamad bin Raisa al-Khalifa's process of comprehensive development, which is supported by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa and is keenly followed up on by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain is keen on offering the best possible health care and social services to senior citizens, especially during the pandemic, and added that the Kingdom is among the leading countries in this field among the efforts uh, that have been made to serve the sector of the population is the government's national strategy for them, which are based on development, health care and creating a supportive environment through the building of various facilities. The World Bank has ranked Bahrain as the second top destination in the Arab world to invest in human capital. The Human Capital Index 2020 measures potential productivity in the health and education with a focus on the knowledge, skills and health that a child born today is expected to accumulate by their 18th birthday. According to the report, Bahrain performed particularly well in the field of education, ranking first among the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries, for academic achievement and among the top five countries globally for the performance of girls over boys in education. In line with its Vision 2030, the kingdom is focused on becoming a leading center for modern medicine, offering high quality and financially sustainable care for patients throughout the GCC region. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,775 with 571 recoveries, 442 registered new cases and three deaths. 127 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 308 are contacts of active cases and seven are travel related. The deceased were a 78, 65 and 68 year old citizens. The ministry expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urged everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.